You sending her positive vibes? You're too cute. If y'all haven't tried this e.l.f. Um, lip liqueur, it is bomb. Seriously, I have the shade... I have the shade Moody, and it's really good. I actually like their lip liqueurs better than their... Um, better than their matte lipsticks, or their matte their matte lip gloss like their gloss that dries down matte i actually like these better like oh, this is bomb wish, I just, I just <laughs> okay so anyways hey you guys i'm back with another video um this video is going to be short i basically just wanted to my son is in the background he wants to talk into the camera can you go back over there in color please um, so basically I am here to share a Dollar Tree haul with you guys. It is a few items that I picked up from the Dollar Tree and um, honestly I just learned about this teacher's corner. I think that's what they called it. So there's like an actual teacher's corner in the Dollar Tree and I didn't know about it until another stay at home mom was telling me about it on the peanut app I have the peanut app and um, that's a way where I connect with other Sacramento moms and others um, mostly stay-at-home moms um, I connect with them since I am a stay-at-home mom myself and we just have really good conversations um, because most of us are home with our children so it's just good to chat with another lady that's um, sort of living the same lifestyle as you so shout out, shout out to the peanut app and shout out to one of my new friends that I've been talking to on there. So basically she told me about um, the teacher corner in the Dollar Tree and they have like so many different um, work booklets from like K from preschool from pre-k up to like fifth grade i believe and they have like flash cards construction papers like anything any type of teacher supply that you could think of it's in the dollar tree and i'm so glad that she told me about it because i started to go to target to get like some workbooks from him but i mean i would rather buy a handful of workbooks that are a dollar each i can get like five ten workbooks for ten dollars instead of paying ten dollars for just one workbook um but i still do love my target i'm just saying but i um i went there because my husband and i were still on the fence of what we're going to do um as far as our as far as schooling goes with our children are we going to homeschool or are we going to go let them go to charter private school we don't know yet um public school is definitely out of the question and so yeah so i went to um see what type of activities and workbooks that i can start working on with majesty and majesty is two years old and so he's drawing and coloring he knows his colors he's starting to count he knows his abcs and so i really want him to start actually writing the numbers and letters and i want him to know how to write his name and so i just picked up like a starter kit for myself if you'll if we yeah i'm just gonna call it a starter kit because um talking to my friend on the peanut app she's been homeschooling her children she has two kids and she's pregnant also by the way but anyways she's been homeschooling her kids and so she's not new to this and so um so yeah i got a few items to start off with with majesty and my little handy dandy dollar tree bag okay 
So first things first, I got this alphabet border here. And um, it's a seven pack. So I guess it just has like each strip has like um, four letters on it. And so I'm going to be putting this up. Um, we have like a family room area and that area is going to be like where I take majesty every day from now on. And that's going to be like our, um, schooling area. And so, yeah. And so I have this border. Um, I have a couple ABC charts and things like that around the house and he really enjoys like pointing at it and saying the letters and things like that. And... So yeah, I got this. The second thing that I got him was this three-in-one activity pad tablet. I guess that's what it's called. And it's, it's basically just a book full of different color construction paper. And like they have some drawing tools or whatever that we're probably not going to do or follow. But um, yeah, I just basically got it because it has some construction paper in here and we can do like different kind of fun activities with it. Like I said, he loves to draw and do all of that. And so, yeah. And then I got him his own uh, scribble pad for drawing also because um, right before I got this, he was using like all of the printer paper. And so I just went ahead and got him a scribble pad and I also got these that he just seen me pull out the bag I forgot that was in the bag I was trying to pull it off to the side so he wouldn't see but he called me here sit down sit down mm. I got some pencil sharpeners because we're going to start, I want him to start tracing letters and things like that. And so, obviously, I bought some pencils. I have some dry erase markers here. Because they had this right here, this reusable dry erase pocket. And so, we're not going to be doing this just yet. But, I figure I can put... I can write some letters on some paper and then um, I can just take this out and then whatever I can replace it with whatever paper that I have and he can trace on this so it's just another opportunity another fun way for him to be able to write with um, something other than pencils and so that's why I got the dry erase markers I got a plastic rubbing plates and let's see how it's a three piece and I think these are seashells and like a, a star fish or whatever and it's basically something that the kids can like put paper over and they just color the paper just like this picture shown here and then it'll get the shape so just a cool activity for him to um to enjoy with his construction paper and things like that. They had 180 piece reward stickers. And so I thought this was pretty dope to get some stickers to reward him with. I have some multi-purpose clips. And these clips here, I'm basically going to um, do like a DUI um, banner and I'm going to probably cut some yarn or something like that and thumbtack it to the wall and every time he draws something that week then I'm just going to use these pins to pin it onto the yarn so that way we can celebrate his artwork and things like that for the week. I also have another 14 piece award stickers and charts. This sticker chart here I wanted to um, get for him just so when once he does good he can take the sticker and I'll let him place it on the star himself so he'll know like you did a really good job and I want to celebrate you and things like that. I have a manuscript tablet and so it's basically that paper 
the really um, the tracing paper that they can uh, practice their letters and things like that is just a full tablet of it. And I mean, Dollar Tree is really on top of that game. Like, for real, for real. This was all of this stuff was a dollar. Like, it's amazing. So, on to the workbooks. Uh, I got all grade K and a couple kindergartens. But, uh, so yeah, this first one here are colors and shapes, and it's just different activities. No, no, wait until mommy's done, okay? Sit down, please. Sit down, please. Here. Yo! Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, just different colors and shape activities inside that I thought would be really good for him we have numbers and counting and like I said it's just they have like activities where he can count where he's able to trace um, the numbers and write the write the word out for the numbers and things like that I have another colors and shape book here and then I have a handwriting book here that's basically um, just tracing the letters and things like that. That's my starter pack for right now. Shout out to um, Amina for telling me about the teacher corner at the Dollar Tree. And um, I wish I would have gotten some footage of how the actual corner looks. Um, in the Dollar Tree, maybe before this video post, I will take another trip to the Dollar Tree and just show you guys how it looks here in Sacramento. But they have so much stuff, like tons and tons of things. And so I'm just excited to just go back in there and get some more things for Majesty. Because I did ask one of the workers, was it like a seasonal thing or is it permanent? And he assured me that the teacher's corner is permanent. And I'm so excited about that. And so, yes, if you are planning on homeschooling and you just want to get like your toddler prepared and just find different ways of like keeping your toddler entertained, definitely check out the Dollar Tree teacher's corner like I didn't know that it was that lit and it's super lit in Dollar Tree right now. And so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and I will catch you in my next video. One love.